Well, as promised, here we came back to uh, jump into our uh, device make file. And let's go ahead and get that opened up, take a look at what we got here. So there's going to be a, a lot more material in this one than we saw in our previous um, files. And we're just scrolling through here, and you see there is a lot of stuff. So the question is, what do we need? What do we want? What are we going to work with? And what are we going to do? Um, <clears throat> so we could just make all of these blocks as a um, you know to-do list, right? And but I feel like there's so much material in here that we're just going to cut out that we might as well just cut it out and then we'll paste back in. So. What we're going to do is we're just going to take all of this material and we're going to delete it. Yep. And we'll just work with this stuff right here right now. So let's see what we can work on. This is going to be a to do. Add overlay folders. Okay, so we're going to save that. Um, all of these are really to do. We just put to do on top of all of these ones here while we work this all out. So, to do. We want to inherit product, product languages underscore full dot make. So this is something that's in the Android uh, source code itself in Lineage OS. So we actually don't need that to be a to-do because that is just going to be there. Um, we could actually go look for this just to prove this point here. If we go here, we go to build, um, target, product, right? I think I'm in the right spot. Yeah, languages dot full. So if we type languages that full, there it is. So that's part of the lineage OS. So we don't need that specifically. We don't need to go add that because that's already there. So now we have a question of this uh, Dalvik, uh, Dalvik heap. And this is something we want to look at. And, and that's why I even made this a to-do and we decided we didn't really need to look at it. But sometimes you might want to check to make sure that these files actually exist because I'm pretty sure this file right here is not going to exist. Let's take a look. So we know it's in framework, native, build, right? So we're here. We go to framework, native, build. And we have all these um, different files. And in particular, this is phone dash two X's HDPI dash 4096. So two X's HDPI, right? So this is one X and this is three X. So it has to be between here and here. And we have 2048, 2048, 3072, 3072. What do we not have? We don't have a 4096. So, we could talk a little bit about what these files do. Uh, we'll just open one up here real quick. And it's just setting the Dalvik heap sizes um, and how much memory is available and how to set it up for your device. Having more um, helps, but having less is still okay. So this provides overrides to configure the Dalvik heap for a 2G phone. 192 uh, megabytes of RAM gives enough space for five eight megapixel camera bitmap and RAM. So essentially, this is this is related to like uh, you know taking um, pictures and that sort of thing and displaying them on the screen, that sort of thing. Um, and then we see the other file, the uh, memory memory limits that we can configure. So. Um, what I'm going to recommend that we do is we tone this down to these 2048. 
And this may be something that we need to evaluate later, but it should work the way that it is. Okay, so we've chosen the files that we're going to use for that. Uh, this needs to be a to do. And this is going to be probably the longest standing to do is adding vendor files because that's going to take a while. So we're going to comment this out and we'll have to come back to that. We have not downloaded our vendor files yet. Of course, we're going to have to get ours off of the phone itself, which is going to be really fun. So looking forward to that video. So adding our next block, adding the overlay folders. Let's see what we've got here. When we look in our device here, you have these overlay folders and they're full of stuff, okay? And in these overlay folders are configuration files, right? Um, that change things or packages that get overlaid or put on top of something. So that's really great. Um, and we want to add stuff like that, but we don't really have something to add in there right now. This is kind of going to be like, as we go along, we're going to realize we need an overlay for this or for that. So we're going to comment that out for now. We'll have to come back to it later in a future video. So now we have the question of screen density and boot animation and screen width and height and all that sort of thing. Remember, we took our Git prop and we can actually search screen, um, you know, auto rotate screen, screen version, uh, screen false is that one I'm looking for, um, height. This is our cache height. What am I looking for? I know it's in here somewhere. I can't remember what it's called exactly. Let's, uh, let's do 1920, there it is, display, all right. So our display UMAX right here is 1920 by 1080. So we know that the screen is 1920 by 1080. So this actually, we can take out this to do because that is proper, that is correct. Now we have the screen density. How do we know what screen density that is? If we search Git prop, for like XXHDPI, we don't find anything. So this is something you'd have to do a little bit of research. But if you do um, screen resolution, and we'll do 1920 by 1080, uh, convert to uh, XXHDPI, like is that what it is? And let's take a look. And this is not helping me here. Here we go. No, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Not quite in the format that I was looking for to show you. Um, uh, table of PI chart <laughs> Let me see. So not helping me. 
calculate screen density. That's probably what I'm looking for. So that's where I just was. That probably could do the trick. I know the answer. I just want to. I want to um, show you why I know the answer. So there's some pretty complicated math right here. Um, so for instance, we're working with a um, 1920 by 1080, but we'd have to do some math to see for the screen size what it turns out to be. Um, let's see. Control find 480. Uh, density. LCD density is 424. And a 424. And I really want to show you here how this works. So our screen density is 424, which is more than XH DPI and not quite XXH DPI. So it'd be right in this category right here. And it's gonna be XXH DPI. And I, I wish I could find a little better source to show you. Um, but I'm not seeing kind of what I'm looking for. But XXHCPI is is the answer of what we're what we're looking for here. Hmm. Wish I could just show that a little better of why. You're gonna have to go with me on this one. All right. So it is XXHDPI. Um, one thing that'll help with that is if you notice, right? We bring up. our blue life one x and we bring up our eureka black and notice our eureka black is 1080 by 1920 and we are 1080 by 1920 uh, with very similar size screen and so when you look at the eureka black that we borrowed from the device file was the same size screen, and so it's going to have the same about the same size HDPI since they had the physical same size screen or very close to. So this turns out to be good. I wish I just could show that a little better. I had found the other day a table that worked a little bit better to explain that, and I wish that I could find that again. But so we've taken a good stab at this device.make file. We've got lots more to do here, but uh, I'm going to take a break here. And when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll look at some more stuff. Um, before we get out of here, let's uh, make sure we update all of our uh, material here. We're going to call this updated device.make file.
Okay. There we go.